Okay, let's take a look at our progress. Like I said, in this video, I'm not going into super detail like we did with the B unit. So I'm just going to give you some progress reports. So what we have now is we have bypassed the metal gear tower, soldered directly to these metal side frames. We run our lead up to a PC board that is secured to the little arm here with my favorite stuff, goop, amazing goop. Okay, so we got the power to the two arms. Now, this is good. This is kind of overkill for this, but since we're doing this for a friend, we want, and I know exactly what decoder he's going to put in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run wires to this big PC board right here. This is my collector. And the collector will have all the power run into it from the collector to the motor. When it's time to put the decoder in, these two leads that come from here to here are going to be removed. In its place, the red and the black on the decoder will go onto this, and then I believe it is something like gray and orange that goes down to the motor. It'll sit right here. So what we have left to do is get some wires on here. Then we're going to set the height of the motor. It needs to be raised up just a little bit. So we're going to build a cradle like this and just glue it on with the goop and then we'll glue it down into the spot. And all we'll do is we'll measure the inside here that we milled out. We'll get a measurement of what a good height should be to make the U-joints and shafts line up horizontally. That shouldn't be too tough. We'll just take our little steel ruler, we'll make a measurement, then we'll make a cradle, slip her in there, and then we're good to go. But otherwise, this thing is really coming along nice. Now, worm gear. So, the worm gear, which is in this two-part housing, it's got one little strip of our favorite Mag 1 red lithium grease on here. Each of the thrust washers got a dot of our marble lubricating oil, which happens to be air tool oil, if you're looking for it in the store. comes in a doesn't come in these metal cans anymore. If you have these, keep them. You can refill them. This is the Mag 1 that we use. This is an older can. I got a newer can. And the grease is a little bit more brown. This is the stuff. Um, this, is, this is the best grease I've ever, ever used. And it has stood the test of time. That's our stuff. So that's where we're at. This is coming along nicely, and this motor is going to be so slick. This is a 24-volt motor. Um, it's normally used in, in auto applications. and They're really hard to get right now. They're extremely difficult to get, especially since the new series of motors have come out that are even more sensitive than these. These things are getting scarce. But um, the new motors are awesome, and I'm just waiting for, for a reasonable way to get my hands on a double shaft one. All right, that's where we're at, so we'll be moving on.